This video from sam 4 sl we're taking a look at how to make PLUs inactive via their status on the ER900 series of registers. In this video I'm looking at the 940, so that model has two printers and a flat keyboard, but the process or the programming protocols will be the same across the range. So on this machine I've finished programming my PLU buttons and I want to make these additional ones um, inactive. I don't want to totally delete them like I can do in the service mode, I just want to make them inactive so that a, a cashier can't accidentally overring sales through them um, and, and get erroneous sales figures on there. Um, what I'm going to do is to change the status to inactive and the way you do this is if you've got access to the manual you're looking for PLU programming, status programming in particular, um, so it's P mode, 100 subtotal, press the PLU um, and then enter the nine digit code for the status X time and then cache to save. Obviously the bit that causes the confusion is the status. So you get the status for the PLU from the following page. Each of these numbers, one to nine, um, control certain aspects of the status of the PLU to do with tax, whether it's a minus or a positive, what type of PLU it is and how you want it to work on the register. The key one for me is N5, which is PLU is inventory and PLU is inactive. Mine is not inventory, so it's no, but it is going to be inactive. So my sum for N5 is going to be 2. Um, all my other ones are going to be 0 um, because I'm just using the default programming. When you come to re if you ever reactivate the PLU, obviously you've got to be careful the status you set up in terms of how your till is set up for tax and how you want the PLUs to work. So always refer back to the manual and always test a PLU before you go live to check it's working the way you want it to. Okay, but to in deactivate or make inactive certain PLUs, you turn the key round to the PGM position. So you need the metal key marked P. You then type in 100 subtotal, and it comes up and says PLU status program. Then you press the PLU to make inactive. So we're going to do PLU 21, which is currently light ale. You then type in that nine digit code. My code is four zeros then the number two to make it inactive, and then four more zeros, followed by the X time or quantity time button, and then cash. You get a little printout confirming what you've done, and the key line for this program is where it says disable, we need that to be Y for yes. So I'll just repeat that procedure. Um, in the P mode, 100 subtotal, then you press the PLU. The temptation would be to press lots of PLUs in a row, but the way the machine works is if you if you press that one and then that one, it deactivates all the ones in between. So you, you have to do it individually, really. So we've deleted or made an active 21. Now we're going to make an active 31. Press the PLU, type in the code one, two, three, four zeros, two for inactive, one, two, three, four zeros to finish, then X time and cash. Check your printout, all your statuses. We're looking for disable, yes. Key back round to the reg mode, and then just double check what you've done. So PLU 1, 11, 21, inactive error. So it just means no one can accidentally ring a sale through those buttons. For some reason, do you ever want to reactivate the button? I'll post a video showing you how to do that. That'll probably be appearing on the screen now. So you're welcome to check that out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sam4shelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.